What's up guys, this is Intellitech Studios. And as you can see, I have three new vacuums. Well, new is a very, um, it's kind of a weird way to describe it. Kitty! She's been in a lot of videos. Oh, I love you, you're so adorable. Anyways, back to these. So, we got a Hoover Elite Rewind, which even though it has a rewind mechanism, for some reason the cord is wrapped up. Maybe it's faulty, I don't know. We have a Bissell Power Force Helix, which is missing all of its attachments. And the Kenmore Progressive Canister Vacuum, which is the first canister I think I've ever owned. I've never owned a canister. I don't like canisters at all. I hate canisters. I like uprights. But the this one canister. So this this so assuming all these work, this one I'm selling. So like if, if you're watching this in like a week and it ends up working and being perfect, then make me an offer. Um, for these, I'm gonna keep these. I'm definitely keeping this one because if I don't dedicate it to cleaning the back porch. Then I'm going to give it to my friend Juliet, who doesn't have a vacuum cleaner. And, you know, or that's, you know, or because if I decide to, whether or not I decide to keep it or get rid of it. But I'm not going to sell it. Um, so this one won't be for sale. This one, however, since this one's more expensive, worth more probably, I might sell this one. Um, you know, depending on how much it's worth. If it's worth, like, only 20 bucks. But to be fair, these ones are worth pretty much nothing, but... That's probably why that's the one I'm going to keep, whereas these other two are more expensive. So, uh, let's, uh, let's test these out, I guess. I just now got these. Let's see if they turn on. They've been sitting in my local recycling pile for quite a while, and this, this is one of the many reasons why I hate canisters, because this stupid thing keeps falling back. So, yep, yeah, I hate canisters. Did I mention that I hate canisters? Um, had HEPA filtration cord rewind this is absolutely nasty so no attachments that's to be expected is there a is there a bag in here there is a bag in here one that fell off the bag mount and it looks really disgusting and smells like wet dog but we will still turn this on, or we'll still plug it in and see if it runs. And this prong is bent. So, oh, holy shit, it just sparked. Okay, let's, uh, okay, take two. Yeah, that, that scared me. Um... Motor sounds kind of funky, but it works. It turns on. It smells <coughs> terrible, but I can probably fix that. Does this have... How, how, how do I take this apart? I hate canisters. How do I... Uh, how do I take this part off? Do I have to unplug this, or... Is it with this? Oh, this button, right? Uh, I don't know how the, Whatever, I'll figure that out later. Okay, so this works. And this has a core rewind. Oh, that's the wrong button. Uh, where's the... How do I... So how do I rewind the cord? Oh, there's like a button... Down here, I think, right? Right? How does this I just jam it back in or how does this work? How does this cord rewind work? Oh, I see. You have to like pull it and then it pulls back in. Okay, that makes sense. And and that fell over because I hate canisters. Only canister I will ever consider owning is the Phantom Lightning. 
that's it. And even then, I still don't want one. If, if someone gave me a Phantom Lightning, I'd probably still sell it. Well, actually, yeah, I would sell it and buy a Fury. Okay, so... Which one do I test next? The Bissell or the Hoover? I mean, the Bissell, you've seen that all the time. So let's... We'll save that for last. And we'll test this Hoover next. So... This one actually does have... Okay, someone doesn't know how... Someone clearly doesn't know how this hose works. But then again, I, now that I think about it, I don't think I know how this hose works. How does this work? Wait a minute, I know. So, pull this off. Because I'm obviously not going to test the brush roll yet. Is because it functioning? See, this does have a rewind. Does this? Does it work? Ah, I see. So the rewind, the rewind is busted. So, and this one is in the on position. So I'm glad I caught that before I scared myself again. And I'm not wearing my hat, so my hair keeps getting in my face. So let's plug this one in. And. Well, the brush roll works. No suction. So this one's clearly clogged. And this one smells like wet dog as well. I think, did, did the same person own all three of these? Dear God, what did you do? Actually, never mind. I don't want to know what you did to your vacuum. Anyways... So this one works, it's just, oh, yeah, pretty badly clogged. And as far as this hose goes, I think, actually, is this busted? Oh no, they never installed this bottom hose piece that's designed to hold the hose. So that's why, or maybe, I don't know, um, yeah, I don't know how this works. Yeah, this is confusing. So, just do that for now. And, so this one, that, so this one has a bad cord rewind, and also is clogged, but the brush roll works. And then finally the Bissell, which this one, I'm actually gonna check, hmm. I'm gonna wonder what what'll be up with this one, but this one's really lightweight. Uh, so well, then again, we don't need all this cord. Now this one is a foot switch, so I can't tell if this is turned on or not. Which is why I hate these foot switches. But let's see if this freaking thing turns on when I plug it in and scares me again. Yes, it sparked and scared me again. Freaking. What, like, you know, seriously? <laughs> Sounds loud, but, you know, it's not that much louder than these ones usually are. But let's, let's see suction. <laughs> this one has minimal suction. Hose is crushed right on that corner, but this one has minimal suction. So this one is, you know, this one's actually the most promising out of all of them. So, let's see, does the, does the brush spin? Oh, it cleans. And the handle release isn't busted either, so that's also good. So I don't have to worry about replacing the handle release. But this one so far is the one that is the most promising. Because this one actually cleaned a little bit. Yeah. Well, a little bit. Ooh. Huh. I think I found the culprit already. 
Now I know why this one was thrown out. Aha! Again, what, what did they do to their vacuum? Dear God. Ugh. back in. Yeah. There we go. Let's see if that fixed it. Oh, it smells bad. Oh, it's okay. I think it's burning through a belt right now. I think that's why. Yeah, I can smell that belt burning. And there's the wet dog smell again. <coughs> Ugh. But I think in that time, it actually pulled some stuff back through the hose. So the suction's fixed now. So now it works. It just smells like ass. Ugh. And not the good kind. So. Uh, yeah, so that's testing out the three vacuums that I just got. So I'll need to fix these in some way. I'll, pro I'll fix the Bissell first because that seems like the easiest one to fix. And then the Hoover and then the piece of garbage uh, canister Kenmore. So anyway guys, this is Intellitech Studio signing out. I hope you guys enjoyed this really weird random vacuum pickup. But I got these from the, like I said, the lot where the recycling is. So I was told there was two vacuums. I'm assuming that he saw the two uprights and told me about the Kenmore. So, anyways, Intellitech Studio signing out. Hope y'all. Uh, sorry, I think I had the hiccups. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. So yeah, I'm gonna upload this as of the time of this video tomorrow because I did a test between the Dyson and the Clean View, but I'll upload that on Friday instead. So I filmed this on Wednesday, but I'm gonna upload this on Thursday, and then the other video will go up on Friday. So, Intellitech Studio signing out. I hope you all have a good one. Peace.